All right, guys, this video has been awaited for a long time. This video is about the study material for the NDEB. Now, a little disclaimer, this is the material which I used. Uh, it may differ, it may add more or less, it's up to you. But uh, this is my old iPad, which has been my work cause. It has helped me through AFK, through ACJ, through all my attempts, through <laughs> ACS as well. And uh, let's go through what everything I had, there's just this one device to study. Let's see what I have starting first sorry it's a little slow this is the american association of it is the glossary now this is you don't have to read this but any term sometimes you have to refer this is the reference which is which will be standing right so any endodontic term you're confused about then the other is the acj case diagnosis template it's already available on the website and there are latest ones as well some cases, ACJ x-rays, protocol, it, all this is available. Then uh, the questions for AFK on the ethics. Uh, this is for Alberta, this is my association, but th there is one for from American Dental Association. You can download that, it's free, and that should be good. Uh, the next uh, important stuff is, uh, no, this is, this document is not fine. Yeah, I know, knew that. Yeah. Then most important books to solve your operative questions is obviously this one, Student Art and Science. So how, uh, because I have read this during my UG as well, the whole book. Obviously, I don't remember everything. But yeah, now whenever I get a question on uh, in AFK and it is about operative or restorative dentistry and I cannot find an answer anywhere and I'm pretty sure this is the place where I'm going to find the answer so yeah this is the book for operative or restorative and then the next uh, book is this Carenza the 10th edition it's the standard book for perio, any, any doubts, any reference. So I have also read this when I was preparing for my All India PG exam way back in 2000, 2006, 5 and 6. And uh, uh, I, again, I don't remember a lot. But now whenever I used to do my AFK question, I used to go back and refer this book whenever I had a perio question and I didn't know the answer for it. Do remember that uh, last time I studied for a competitive exam was in 2007. And then uh, I prepared uh, for my AFK in 2006 and uh, sorry. Yeah. In 2016 and 17. So that has been like a long time. So I had a 10 years break from vigorous studies that uh, yeah, once you go back to the books, you go back. So that, that's not an excuse that you cannot go back. The other book for very important book for oral surgery references, which I used and I loved reading it is this contemporary oral maxillofacial surgery, fifth edition. I think there's a sixth edition as well, but this one is good enough. It, uh, it clears most of your doubt, most of your questions. Uh, yeah. So you don't, I, I, I don't go and read the whole book. I just refer it. I just read my weak points, which I don't know. And then the next book would be, okay, which one is this? Let me just quickly check. Uh, no, I would only read Naval for Oral Pathology. So now this is one very important book. You know about this, Phillips, right? First year or second year BDS. So this is one important book, which you have to read the whole stuff. There are a lot of questions from this book. Whether it's an oral path question, strangely enough, ortho question, any other question can be sorted and you can find an answer in this book for sure. And uh, this book is the Bible. You have to read everything from it. I hope you already did that in your UG, but if you didn't, this is the time. Then you have these uh, articles. Now, these are articles which are called standard of care, basically. So management of developing dentition and the and you can download these articles from i'll tell you the the this is called best practices if you can see here it says 
best practices so if you go to american association of uh, Pedi pediatric dentistry so you will find all these art articles there you can download it from there so it's a review console article and these are the recommendations okay similarly i'll show you other articles so best practices bp stands for best practices and again if you see it's the review article and it is from the Amer american association of the of uh, uh, oral surgeons so that's 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 where you will find it so just search for see um, uh, this one is also from pediatric dentistry sorry yeah so you will find it on that website and then best practices for pain management so these are these are all this is also from pediatric best practices profile access this is also from pediatric so all these articles of best practices you can download from pediatric uh, american association of pediatric dentistries you'll find that there now burkitt is for oral medicine i haven't read the whole book ever but i always refer whenever i need to see a treatment protocol of any oral disease which is not clear in navel so i would refer to burkitt's as well then the next is let all this go this is a nice book for for acj actually this is i won't recommend this for afk but uh, this is nice to see cases for acj and so any questions as i told you on ethics would be referred from here principles and course that this is the american dental association principles of ethics this is what you have to read to answer your questions on ethics not a big article just a small one but a little boring but you have to know this all and it also helps you in practice anywhere in the world and uh, my favorite book being an endodontist is uh, cohen it takes its own sweet time to open yeah so this one any endo questions and a lot of other questions also i would solve from this and color atlas of common oral diseases this again i would recommend for for uh, for your uh, acj exams it doesn't have a big role to play in afk because af is fundamental knowledge you don't have to judge cases and there there are examples of cases i know it, this might be a boring video because it <laughs> it might it took me too much time to get my courage up and uh, make this uh, video but uh, a lot of people were asking about it and profit is the book for ortho again this is a reference book i haven't read it all but whenever i come across a question for example i had a big doubt about um, the cross bites with with shift and without shift so i found a very good explanation in in this book for that and a lot of other explanations are there for ortho questions so whatever the book says will be the right answer now because ndb has released uh questions not the answers and people keep asking where they can find the answers the answers are in these books okay the books are right at the end of the day nobody can, knows anything but the book is always right okay so we did ortho all right you don't need to see my credit card statement <laughs> and then the next book important book would be one that's this is one very important article by dr has okay 
drugs and dentistry it's not opening on okay this one so just google this you will be able to download it dr haas is a professor in university of toronto and this is his recommendation for analgesics and antibiotics and their use this article works for both afk and ecj this is these are the doses what is recommended and whatever the article says those doses are the right doses okay so this is a very important article so just five six pages article but that those are the latest recommendations and then you have these small small articles uh, from uh, this is from american association of uh, endodontics you can see there so any these articles are released and they are available free for download they are actual recommendation for example non surgical re retreatment clinical making decisions so this is the standard of practice which you have to follow what what the what the professional organization recommends okay similarly another one on uh, on obturation canal preparation and then this one is this one is a special one especially for acj this is on uh, oh, this is on use of antibiotics and another one on diagnosis yeah this one so go on their website uh, the idea is to go on the specialty website and download download these articles which are available for free this one is very important article for acj endodontic diagnosis because you are supposed to diagnose cases but it it will work for you in afk2 it's just a three page article you have to read this it it makes life very easy now the next thing is let's see where this article is from again american association of pediatric dentistry it's about uh, management of developing dentition inclusion so it's a quick guideline you just can read the small uh, stuff and find your answers space regaining all this and these these are basically the ideas uh, the 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 reference books and then again okay it looks damaged okay we we'll leave this this is dr haas's article or notes on uh, emergency but uh, i would give you a better book for emergency and gop this all right for any anesthetic references you know the book melamed okay just find this book and uh, do this Uh, for any any dosage or anything uh, or any any questions about the gauge of the needle uh, etc you will find all the answers here okay so again i have read this in my undergrad uh, this book is now a reference book to me uh, you don't need to read mars so a very important book which i haven't read ever before coming to canada and never given an exam uh, back home uh, was this one this is stanley f melamed dr melamed's medical emergencies in dental practice this is a beautiful book and all your dental emergencies whether it is from for acj or afk all the answers are here so you have to read this and it's a beautiful book then another important book reference book is little and fallis dental management of medically compromised patient beautiful book again for afk and ecj where you where they ask you a question about what would you do about the medically compromised patient which comes into a dental practice and trust me we see a lot of patients who have high blood pressure heart failure they come in for root canals they come in for extraction they are on blood thinners and everything i like this uh, they have con concise everything in these small charts which makes it easier to learn and to remember just important bullet points and then if you want to read the pathophysiology of the whole thing you can go into the chapters as well so again i would not uh, say that you have to read the whole book 
what you already know you know but then all your answers will be there if you don't know anything clearly then you should go through this book and read more so it's all about giving time and reading more and more and more and uh, i started my preparation from mosby i like mosby because especially mosby review and eb for part 2 i know it's for us exams but i read it for uh, my afk as well because it's very condensed so when i wanted to start my studies i started from here and dental dex so that cleared a lot of concept and then i kept on going to the books so this is for oral pathology all answers are from navel or all questions you have to study from navel you know this book right <laughs> i know what all you have studied and uh, Karen that we have already talked about and then going forward i i would any time refer to balaji too for ortho i don't mind it clears because this is the book i read in my undergrad and uh, it was tough one to get from friends and i had to and then i would just read this and it just clears my concepts but the uh, answers uh, will be considered from profit for sure all right keep going path with of the pulp is done go and we have the latest edition i've talked to you about so pharmac you can refer to dr has article and if you have want to refer i had i'd referred kiri tripathi if you want to refer you can refer if you don't want to but i didn't read much of it just a little bit uh, to clear my concepts and that should be it don't go too deep reading it reading the whole book wasting your time because there are not many pharma question the article from dr haas is enough well nothing is enough but uh, yes so let's see what okay not much left so for prosthetics the book which i referred is this schillenberg and this is for fixed and i know i have a lot of extra books and material but i would not recommend if you can just refer these ones this should be enough again this is for oral radiology a very important book for afk and acj as well wheelers uh, sorry not wheelers white so if you go on the internet you can find all these books and uh, it's like endless so this is a book for acj to judge cases on malocclusion this helps you understand and develop the concept and i think the, those are almost all the books now how how i would go about doing the exams uh, doing the my preparation for afk would be you know let's see where my release questions are I know it's a very boring video but uh, you guys wanted me to make this one so I did it. So let's say this this was the question paper I was doing so I would always mark my question paper I'm not saying that these are all the answers or anything. For example let's see this question a patient experience pain and some so this this is more of a clinical oriented question. Okay this you should know if I want to search and the placement of retentive pain all this don't go for the color markers so this if i am not sure about this where will i find it I, where are the retentive pins i will just select it i have already done this video retentive pin i'll copy it and i'll go and i'll go into the books and i'll try searching that if the book allows that 
so these this, these are all the material the other which i'm missing is dental decks so i would recommend you start your preparation with the mosby part 2 and then dental decks and then start solving questions and if you are finding problems and then go to the reference books if you want to read the all the books then you can but uh, what's the point if you read all the books and don't remember anything so that was all and i request you to subscribe and put your question in the comment section i'll try answering it and most of these books are available on the internet you can find them and i got them from a few friends and uh, from my postgraduate students and thank you all my postgraduate students to giving me all the resource material when i was in india because i prepared while i was in india i didn't do any coaching but i studied really well uh, I, i because everything is in the books so you all have to do have to give your time and read it i would also recommend i'm not uh, working for apple but buy an ipad uh, mine is a pretty old one but it works really well initially i was little com- uh, worried about that my eyes will get tired if i study the whole day on the ipad but man they have the best screen it uh, it works beautifully you can work you can study when everybody around you is sleeping <coughs> sorry or uh, you are traveling uh, the battery life is really good there's always internet everywhere now and uh, it's just it's just amazing you can just do everything in one bo- uh, one small ipad and you don't have to carry carry it uh, carry your huge load of books around which becomes a so it's 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 a very good idea to invest into an ipad mine is an old one you can buy an old one if you want to and uh, but new ones are great they're coming with pencils and everything so yeah buy an ipad and uh, best of luck to all of you and if you have any questions put into the comment section and do subscribe to the channel please okay thank you